Hello Parallels, this is your Parallel Mr. Rajput and welcome back to my channel and today's video is gonna be on the Quill of Acceptance and the Book of Admittance. So after watching the first part of Harry Potter movie, everyone been asking how the Hogwarts choose their students and how they knew who is going to be a wizard or witch. So by seeing these all questions, legend JK Rowling has originally published about the Quill of Acceptance and the Book of Admittance back in 2015 on her website Pottermore and on that article she has published all the information about all the question of Potter has been asking so if you haven't seen that article yet then don't worry I'm here to tell you all about that but before starting the video if you are new here then please subscribe to this channel because I keep bringing Harry Potter stuff regularly and be sure to hit the bell icon so you won't miss any update and also follow me on Instagram if you want iconic Harry Potter memes and at the end if you want iconic merchandise of Harry Potter then I got a website for you Fandomian link is in the description so click on the link and shop whatever you want to shop about harry potter franchise and now without wasting any moment let's begin the video So there is a small lock tower in the Hogwarts never visited by any student of Hogwarts. It's an ancient book that has been not touched by human hands since the four founder placed it there on completion of the castle. And I think you must be familiar with all four founders of Hogwarts which are Godric Gryffindor, Ravenna Ravenclaw, Helga Hufflepuff and Salazar Slytherin. So let's move further. Beside the book which is bound in peeling black dragon hide stands a small silver in input and from this protrudes a long faded quill. These are the quill of acceptance and the book of admittance and they constitute the only process by which students are selected for Hogwarts school of witchcraft and wizardry. If anybody understand what powerful and long lasting magic caused this book and quill to behave as they do, nobody has ever confessed to it. Doubtless because as Albus Dumbledore once said, it saves the staff tedious explanations to parents who are furious that their children have not been selected for Hogwarts, the book and quills decision is final and no child has ever been admitted whose name has not first been inscribed on the book's yellowing pages. At the precious moment that a child first exhibits sign of magic, the quill which is believed to have been taken from an augury floats up out of its input and attempts to inscribe the name of that child upon the pages of the book. Augury feathers are known to repel ink and the input is empty. Nobody has ever managed to analyze preciously what the silver fluid flowing from the enchanted quill is. Those few who have observed the process, Chevra Headmaster and Headmistress have enjoyed spending quiet hours in the book and quill's tower, hoping to catch them in action, agree that the quill might be judged more linear than the book. A mere whiff of magic suffices for the quill, the book however will often snap shut, refusing to be written upon until it received sufficiently dramatic evidence of magical ability. Thus, the very moment that Neville Longbottom was born, the quill attempted to write his name and was refused by the book, which snapped shut. Even the midlife who attempted Elias Longbottom has failed to notice that Neville managed to shift his blankets more snugly over himself moment after birth. Assuming that his father had tucked the baby in more securely, Neville's family presently missed faint sign of magic in him and not until he was 8 years old did either his disappointed great aunt and uncle or the old sticker of a book accept that he was truly a wizard when he survived a fall that should have killed him. In fact, the book's stressness as a purpose, its track record in keeping squibs out of Hogwarts is perfect. Non-magic children born to witches and wizards occasionally have some small residual aura of magic about them due to their parents, but once their parents' magic has war of them it becomes clear that they will never have the ability to perform spells. The quill sensitivity coupled with the book's implacability have never yet made a mistake. And the quill of acceptance and the book of admittance has never made any kind of mistake choosing the students for Hogwarts. They never fail to brought the newborn wizards and witches into the Hogwarts and if there are any new witch or wizard born in the muggle world. The very first thing we'll come to know about this is the quill of acceptance and the book of admittance. 
So that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got to know something about the quill of the acceptance and the book of admittance. And if you find this video helpful, please like this video and subscribe to this channel if you are new here because I keep bringing Harry Potter stuff every day. And once I will get my monetization back, I will start posting Harry Potter memes as you all wanted. And now I will see you in my next one and before ending this video, please follow me on Instagram if you are not following me because I keep uploading Harry Potter memes on my Instagram account. So be sure to follow me on on Instagram link is in the description and now I will see you in my next one till then take care and goodbye